face right here. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. Doing pretty good? All right. Well, I've been inspired to write a lot of pieces here working with uh, being a tent knocker here and working on the job site. I try to use like nouns. I'm a noun poet. I use those nouns to paint a picture, like to try to capture a moment in time or whatnot. And uh, this is what I got for you today. Because Monday is just right around the corner, you know? <laughs> and then I picture us all at work, hammering VAV D connectors like a drum. The jazz tempo of a coil line duck, bam, bam, bam. Tango rhythm of setting anchors upside down. We all know how that feels after a while, right? <laughs> all right. This photo in time. We toil from our homes for our homes. From Monterey to San Francisco, Tracy to Palo Alto, Los Banos to Sunnyvale, we set sail through a, the morning tide of traffic in a sea of red tail lights to a job site. Here we build more than just structures. We invest in America with every power of sweat and raise buildings in record time. No job is too small or too great. And at the end of the day, we return home to the warmth of our family. And as our spouses and children bicep themselves to an arm or a leg, you know, when you come walking through the door, it's a great feeling, man. Yeah. That's the fuel that makes us get up and do it again. It's that warmth and that meaning. It's not the gas in our cars. It's not that monster energy drink. It's that love for our families that makes us push, right? Yeah. However, you know, there are wolves out there that see us unemployed and ununited. They need us to feel like everything is okay. To sleep instead of do a precinct walk. Whatever the excuse, whatever the event, I got news for them. We will not feel their pockets. No. We will fill their flippin' streets with picket lines until our reason is understood. Similar to, similar to many who came before us, whose dreams and sacrifice have forged this reality of where we are today. Thanks, brothers and sisters.